Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. It has come around again. Today is new truck day. I'm a little bit torn. I am actually a little bit torn. I thought I had this all planned out on where we were going to go and what we were going to get. But as I've come in, I have a little think. I'd like to have a little look and I'll share my thoughts with you. We are currently in El Generico wannabe Evolvo wannabe Mercedes. So the next sort of logical upgrade is going to the uh, the 6x4 Scania or the 6x4 Man. We also have options. This is like 61 grand for the Man. The Scania is a little bit cheaper. Under Rigids, and I'd forgotten about this, we've got the Dump Truck. The Scania Dump Truck. Now, it does only do, obviously, Dump Truck jobs. Singles and doubles. It costs 103,000 creditos, though. So we need to do quite a few jobs to build up the cash to buy another truck that we haven't got yet. Also, back on trucks, if we go beyond the man, so if this is the big man, eh, the big man, um, this list of jobs here, so we've got the large dump, single dump, the... Uh, sort of curtain side uh, box trailer we've got the uh, the tanker we've got this one that we haven't done so far the irrigated um, cargo container uh, we've got a delivery of the uh, JCB um, telecranes uh, delivery of uh, skid steers delivery of wheel loaders we've got the cars that we delivered before then we have the larger cars, as in the, the wannabe Land Rovers. And then also, now the delivery of the small uh, pickup trucks. So that gives us that option. And I did say, we'd get one of these, and then work our way up. And then, you know, eventually get the American one. Because the American one's a little bit more expensive. But the American one delivers exactly the same. So do we really need... The European one. Since we already have a European smaller version, we have uh, the Rigid in a Scania, we have the Dropside Van in a Man, we have the Panel Van in a Man, we've got the Minivan, we've got our pickup. But this is 114 grand. So we'd have to work even more to get the, the Rigid uh, dump truck. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one gives us a few more options we can still do some dump jobs and we can do some of these other vehicle jobs and we can do the the larger wheel loader jobs and the the telecrane uh, deliveries so i am going to go with the i don't know I, I don't really know what that is supposed to be whether it's a peterbilt or or what don't know it is a simular games branded truck uh, we're gonna buy it i'll decorate it and then we'll get ready to go so here we have it, our international imported it's an absolute beast 700 horsepower it's um yes it's, it's quite quite a thing let's have a look on the inside let's have a look what we got this is all right in it not bad i think it's against it looks a little bit like a very much a european wheel in there but other than that, it looks good. Look at the space in the back. Oh my bejesus. It's like a touring van. That's insane. The space in this is crazy. Okay, yeah, definitely need to get some accessories. We've got some people in the back there. Let's go, uh, <laughs> let's go people smuggling. Right. So, we need to find a job. Where should we go? We've got jobbies. We've got jobbies here, actually, haven't we? Let's go um, just in front of us. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can get. Again, sounds very different. Who, who said these all sound the same? I tell you what, they all sound different. You need your ears checked. Need your ears checked, people. Right. So, we can from here. We can do the, the cargo container. We can load in. Now, we didn't do a, a big box load off the last one. So, shall we shall we go with that? It's got a nice delivery on it. Uh, seven grand, so nearly eight. Let's take that one. 
so by the looks of we've got four four containers to go in here get them in the back what was the last one um they were threes weren't they so this is bigger i have to be mindful of that as i'm, as I'm driving around with it we are now bigger the only thing bigger than this is a monster truck and it doesn't really pull much that's just for messing about with but yeah i just don't if this is exactly the same cargo wise as the man and the scania i just didn't think that we'd need both oh uh, you know like after we've done some jobs we've done some things i probably will buy one whether it be for content or just for personal use i don't know but i think for this and its progress and the way things are going, it just seems like the, the logical thing to do was to get get this one. Although it's an illogical one to have, because this is very much <laughs> a, a mythical European map. But we're working with it. It's an import. It's an import for those American viewers, so you can see something that looks a little bit similar to things you may, may find familiar. You know? Rather than just another man, another Scania. It is El Generico. I don't know whether it's, like I said, it's supposed to be a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or, or what. But it's different. So we'll take it. Is it all the way down? It's, it's now. Again, still having a lot of fun with it. Still having so much fun. Haven't done any extra jobs since the last one, but it doesn't mean we're not having fun. Just, you know, other things to be done as well. We get we get a little bit ahead. Oh, click the uh, stack then. Just have other things we have to do. We can't always, always do the same thing. I'd smash through games if I could, but I start too much and then have games that take too long to finish. down again we'll lock in play this one doesn't come with a, a tandem buddy trailer as well be cool wouldn't it get, get a road train on the go with a, an even even longer one I'm sure it'd be possible. Future expansions and all that. Could fit another box in the back there as well. Look, we could have had more pallets. So where are we? Over there somewhere. Oh, that's just... We're getting the view out and the reflection on that mirror. On that mirror? On that window. Which I'm quite surprised about. Do we have our reverse camera on this one? Oh, we do. Reverse camera as well. Let's try and use it. Wrong way. Opposite directions when looking back into my friend. And it'll take that, so we'll take that. We are hitched up, ready to go. How do we look? How do we look? That's alright, isn't it? Again, it's okay. I'm, I'm quite happy with a lot of these. Do a little screenshot just in case you want that as a thumbnail. Unfortunately, if I use these as a thumbnail, you sort of know what's coming in the episode, so you know we've, we've brought this and not something else. But I'm not sure how else I would do it. I think that's the exit. There we go. Head straight. It is. Right. Let's do our deliveries. This is a, a big boy trailer. Hopefully we're going across a bridge so I can um, get out a little bit. Get out a cab. Show it to you. In what looks to be a, <laughs> a little Parisian <laughs> centre or something like that. Maybe maybe we're uh, sort of in Belgium. 
It's a little bit French, it's a little bit German, a little bit Dutch. It's all here. Now we turn for the Urban on the other side. That's not too bad. Got around there all right, got around there all right. Yeah, we may have to do, just so we can build the money back up, we may have to do uh, more than two episodes with this, or I may have to try and do a fair few in between. Just to make sure we build up the cash again. Because things are expensive now. Because next up would either be, or I'd like it to be, the, uh, the dedicated dump truck, which then, you know, that hits us for another hundred grand. And it's going to limit us on our earnings. And then, I think, what did we say? The, the, the vehicles were like 66, 70 grand, unless you go for the American one again, the import. So that's not cheap. And then the only thing left after that is the uh, the crazy monster truck. Perhaps we'll have to get the pickup truck out again, whiz around, and also try and find some of those uh, golden uh, golden crates, golden pallets. This feels right pokey. It wants to go. I'm resistant to put my foot down. It really, really wants me to. I can tell. I can tell this wants to go quick. The power in it is, yeah, undeniable. It's loud as well, so I do apologize if I'm shouting. Over. Could have got out of the way a little bit, couldn't he? No chill. Uh, our traffic is still on 15. So I think we, we turned up one more. I think we turned up one more for the last episode. I don't know if I mentioned it though. As is well established, I do forget things. Let's just pop my lights on. Get your working lights on. See how we look out the cab in a minute. We'll see if we can get a little bit clear road. I feel like I'm speeding. I'm not sure if I am, but I feel like I'm going stupid quick. There's the ferry. So do you reckon we can jump to that? Where's a good jump spot? There's a ramp over there, I think, behind them trees. Yeah, we've got land in there. Or on there. I think that might be the one anyway. I don't know. The idea intrigues me. <laughs> Eased off a little bit, but I should have met. Ah, uh, see, look, I have to give up for them again. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to uh, just join in when I want, but also. I have to slow down for everyone else to join in, to merge. That's why I like to drive in the middle of the way. Staying on the freeway. There we go, that was us. It's not quite straight, I'd like it to be a little bit straight here. Yeah. Not easy, not easy to do that cab, certainly not that silly angle. What have we got again? Let's cross the road. There we go. That, boy, hey, that was close. <laughs> Is that our delivery down there at the dock? Looks like it could be. It could be our first delivery already. In our big rig. Has it got a horn? It has. Didn't try the horn out in the other ones, I don't think we don't really use it. We're not we're not horn using people. We just shout out the window. Right, where are we going? Hopefully there's a pickup at the dock as well. 
go straight on to another job. Maybe some of these um, containers we could use the, uh, the telehandler container thing. The telegrain, I believe it's called. I don't know what I've been calling it, but I believe it's called the telegrain. Telecrane loader? Just down the side would be nice. Ah, uh, we're facing the wrong. I wonder if it'll take it. Will it take it if I face the opposite direction? Easier for them to load, won't it? Or unload. It will take it. And we'll still get the bonus. So why it points you with the arrows, I do not know. But we'll take that. That is our 7,782 creditos. And there is a pickup about the other side, so I'm going to just turn here. So if we did the um, the liquid gas tanker last time, so I think going for a cargo container, a cargo yard, or perhaps it isn't quite there. Then where is it? Oh, is it? So they felt like it had gone behind me. So yeah, if we can get one of the c uh, cargo containers, or different... Uh, oh, we can do the trucks. Shall we go? Shall we go with the trucks? The, uh, and the American pickup on our American, uh, American truck. Which one's got two on? Which one? Oh, we want that one. 11,000. We want the one with the most money. We need money. So since this is probably going to take a while, we'll try not to do too much messing about with it. And get this loaded up quickly. I'm not sure if the cargo stack right next to us is going to make this easier or harder. Do some of these from inside. We know these these vehicles. We've got one of these. So we don't need to mess about with it too much. Yeah, I think that clip and the Although we're not, felt like we were clipping that cargo container. We'll see what happens with the next one. Am I there? Oh, there. We're there now. Okay, this one's even tighter. Let's uh, go around. Just give us a bit of a run up. There we go. See if it feels like it sticks again. Oh, not on. <laughs> That'll definitely yeah, feel like it sticks. Oh, that's better. Yeah. I yeah, just think we had a slightly oversized collision box. It didn't show it was like damage or anything. I don't know whether that will show up at the end of the job. Wheels in line. Raise it. No messing about. Straight on it, lad. That is cool. It's just it's still cool. It's still cool to me. A lot of fun to be had here. A lot of chilled fun. Honestly, it's just relaxing, easy going. We're getting to do different things. Like I say, you don't have to do this like me and have a. There we go. It was a little bit temperamental. I think I overshot. Came in a bit too quick. Yeah, you don't have to do you know, groups of jobs in the same vehicle. You can do a different vehicle every job. You really mix it up. I was just thinking for content purposes this makes more sense for us doing it this way so that we get a, a good showing of every vehicle and a variety of loads throughout the episodes. I think the easiest way to make money would be to razz around constantly with the uh, the pickup. A little temperamental on this bottom row. Okay. 
Let's just ram it in. Why is it not? There we go. There you go. It's happy now. Just wasn't happy. So, well, is that like our second sort of glitchy bit, I think? We had a slight issue when trying to deliver a caravan at that time, didn't we? That's what you get for trying to deliver caravans, though. And this load has been a little bit temperamental. But it's not, not been undoable. We've had nothing game-breaking at all. I think even if we'd have got stuck in the ground when doing the uh, the caravan job, I think we'd have still been okay. I think we'd have still if it had come out and come back in again, when you when you uh, sort of reload into the game, it spawns you at a safe spot anyway. So it would have soon uh, moved us and put us somewhere good, somewhere doable. We have a little look at what we've got here then. Quite a thing. That's alright as well, isn't it? Nice, we'll have another one of these. Oh. I need to find a quicker button for screen grabs. Are we coming out of here? No, we're not. We're going up, we're going up. Right. Let's get this one delivered. Let's get our lights on. Do you like to have my lights on? Again, this feels weighty. But you can tell that you've got the power to do it, but it feels like you feel like the acceleration isn't there. We're going up a hill, we've got the weight on the back. But we've got the power to do it. With them, with them 700 horses. Right, hopefully we're good, we're good, we're good. Just gonna need a little bit of a wide berth to get this round safely. So this is a big, this is a big trailer, big load. Now this being uh, over ten thousand in payment means we've got quite a drive on us. Go on, I knew you were going to go. To... Oh, none of it. Oh, thank you very much. Whitey, whitey, mate. Get my way. Again, it's the volume, there's more volume with the weight, right? It's really the roadie. No jake brake though. So unfortunate for my friend Lynn if he's watching. No jake brakes. He'd make his own sound effects. <laughs> we love a Lynn jake brake on an ATS. But yeah, like I said before, you can. Um, Crank out enough of jobs that you could get this much earlier than I have. And, you know, you can pretend you're somewhere in America now. It's got the sort of road network that's a little bit more American than um, UK and European with those sort of on off ramps and the way the roads are partitioned and then those little gaps for if you miss your turn, but you turn around. And then I see that more in ATS than I do in any of uh, ETS. Quick, so let's slow down as we come into town. Not slow down that much. Be very mindful of the car that we've got on our right. And they've gone. This is a little bit big. We sort of hog the road even when I'm not trying. This is a big truck with a big load. So we're probably going to have to do a few. Anything. If I do decide to do them all hoarded, there may be some extra editing done so that we can maybe get three big jobs in to give us like 30, 40 grand an episode rather than you know, 15 to 20. Just if you can only have 15 grand, 15, 20 grand an episode with the two loads, then uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot longer to get the hundred grand I want for um, my dump truck. But I don't want to do too many dump truck jobs 
with these big trucks because then obviously the, the novelty of doing the dump trucks isn't there. Although it does have the double dump. Double dump. I just like saying dump. Because <laughs> I'm immature, such a child. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, boy. Let's see if we can get it in line. And then that'll be worth a little grab later on. Not while we're driving, though, but later. <laughs> i grab that in the editor if I put that to be a thumbnail. Over. Yeah, I saw that pretty good this stop for me. Ooh, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. This feels mad. This does feel massive. Oh dear. Feels so big. Perhaps we'll just do the four with this and then we'll go back to one of our older vehicles. <laughs> Let's get the money in. To get the dump truck. This, this feels, this does feel a bit too big for the road. It is an exceptionally large truck, not just the cargo, but just the, the truck with the cab. And I mean that is big. I think that's where you um, use the helicopter and you parachute in on um, GTA Five, isn't it? When you have to sniper it. Everyone, everyone know that mission, right? That's definitely what that looks like. Welcome to Los Santos. Nicely round and round about. Double lane. Though we're finally at the right height for the lights. Swings and roundabouts, eh? All the other vehicles so far have sat way too low to really see anything at the lights. This truck is too big for the roads in my eyes, um, but we can actually see the lights with it, so. Maybe the other man and Scania, because they are actually bigger as well, aren't they? Maybe the other man and Scania uh, sees it a lot better as well. Maybe they sit more comfortably. Where are we going? We're coming off here. I think we're going to a different port. So we've taken them from one port. We've driven across the map to take them to another port to have them shipped out. I am all good with that. That makes, that makes sense. It's fine. That is all good. No one coming. No one coming in. This way. Keeping our eyes peeled for, you got it, golden crates. Palace, I don't know what they're called, palace, golden palace. The golden palace. So last time, no, 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 what do you think? I think we'll be alright, I think it's going to give us the boy again. The right one. We're going to have to just back up, I should imagine, in one of these spots. There we go. I, th I bet. I bet. I bet your money, not my money. We can do it this way. Always up for some easy parking. took it. Nice. No damage to the cargo. So little rubs as we were loading up. They were fine. But 11 grand for that one. 30 grand. We are 70 grand away from well, a little bit under that as well. It's a little bit more than 100 grand. But yeah. So 75, 80 grand away from being comfortable enough to buy our next truck. So we've got some work to do. But that is going to be it for this one. Probably a little bit longer because of the new truck and the type of jobs we had and the loading. 
but hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye